you can see this is actually Vivi's boundary right here. And I'm going to slide up where it says Find and Manage Fences. I'm going to just slide over. I can add up to 20 fences, and right now I'm going to add a fence. I'm going to click Add Fence. And I'm going to pinch to the location. Now we want to be able to take our dog over to this town hall area. There's a nice hill here to go sledding. And all I want to do is keep the dog contained uh, within a boundary so she can play with us sledding and be actually off leash. So I'm just going to zoom in. I know that the hill is by this parking lot. And what I'm going to do is just touch a really nice large boundary. And when I touch the screen, I get a blue dot. And I'm going to continue this blue dot. On the third dot, I might get an alert that says I can add up to 20 posts. And I'm just going to keep drawing around. until I get reconnected back to the original post. Now, if I need to make any adjustments, all I need to do is click this, drag it out, click, drag it out. Now, interestingly enough, I don't get any haptic feedback or anything like that, and that might be the settings of my phone, but I can just very quickly drag and drop this anywhere where I'm at. Once I'm done, up in the top corner on the right, I'm going to click Next. And now I have my fence boundary. And this is going to allow her to come and play with us this winter. Once I've set the post, I can actually edit these posts down at the bottom, or I just click Edit, and again, just drag if I need to. I can edit my fence details by relabeling it. And of course, click the X to exit out. And now I have the Ginnegaw Park actually saved in my phone.